So welcome to Europe PCR 2021. My name is Joost Damen, interventional cardiologist in the Toric Center in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So clearly, uh, the use of IFIS uh, demonstrated to optimize short and long-term outcomes in patients presenting, uh, presenting for PCI. So IFIS guided PCI improves outcome. However, at present, there's a gap in the uh, evidence for patients presenting with STEMI, since dedicated prospective studies focusing on the use of, of IFIS in the setting of primary PCI are lacking. So the SPECTRUM study is a prospective observational single center study focused on the safety and efficacy of IBIS guided PCI in patients presenting with ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. The intention of the study is to use IBIS in a protocolized manner for patients presenting with STEMI, meaning we will do an IBIS pullback pre-PCI, we will do an IBIS pullback after the first maneuver, which could be either thrombectomy or balloon dilatation or wire crossing, We'll do a pullback after the first stent implantation in order to, in order to assess the uh, stenting result, and we'll do a final pullback to assess the final post-PCI result. So there's at present little data as to how IVIS will affect stent implantation and or treatment guidance in patients presenting with STEMI. IVIS can help to identify the true cause of the luminal obstruction in patients with STEMI, which is typically thrombus, but IVIS helps to underline the exact uh, amount of plaque which is in the coronary, the amount of vasospasm, which might help in order to improve stand sizing, and the quantification and qualification of the thrombus burden might help to guide future thrombectomy strategies like aspiration thrombectomy or a specific 2B3 AUs in patients uh, with large thrombus burden. So at present, there is uh, conflicting evidence uh, with respect to the use of, uh, of aspiration thrombectomy. While the uh, TAPAS trial uh, uh, 15 years ago demonstrated that the use of thrombectomy improved patient outcomes, subsequent large randomized controlled trials disputed this evidence by stating there was no difference in the use of aspiration thrombectomy. Or hypothesis is that by making a better appreciation of the amount of intracoronary thrombus, the duration of the thrombus and the aspect of the thrombus, specific treatment uh, strategies like the use of aspiration thrombectomy or the concomitant use of, of thrombotic agents like 2B3A inhibitors might have a, a particular uh, benefit in patients presenting uh, with certain types of thrombus. Uh, moreover, the use of IVIS will help to guide uh, potential treatment in patients with large versus low uh, uh, plug burden uh, and concomitant thrombus to allow uh, thrombectomy or maybe to make the thrombectomy less efficacious. So the intention of the SPECTRUM trial is to assess current treatment strategies uh, applied in patients with specific plug characteristics and to assess post hoc in an observational study the uh, particular effect of the individual treatment strategies linked to the individual uh, amount of plug and thrombus burden per patient. I do believe that newer IVIS technologies like the one we're using in the SPECTRUM trial might help to drive adoption of the use of IVIS and STEMI patients because of two reasons. First, the novel technologies like also the Assist Kodama IVIS catheter with a broadband transducer uh, with 60 megahertz, allowing a very good radial and actual resolution helps to facilitate image interpretation because of the better resolution, the interpretation of plug, thrombus and dissections uh, are really uh, a lot easier as compared to the initial 20 megahertz systems. Second, uh, newer technologies uh, like this system offer a faster pullback speed uh, without compromising on the image quality. So here we are using a, a pullback speed of 2.5 millimeters per second, which is five times faster than the initial uh, IVIS pullback speeds, which were typically at 0.5 millimeter per second. So that brings down pullback times uh, in the long LED uh, uh, five times. So that makes the uh, application of the technology uh, safer and easier, particular uh, in patients presenting with STEMI. Particularly in this setting as well, multiple pull pullbacks become uh, feasible because of the limited additional time that is needed to rerun a pullback. Thank you for listening to EuroPCR 2021. Have fun with the rest of the course. Thank you and bye-bye.